hello again. So this time we're going to be talking about values. Values are really useful. If you want to, uh, it becomes a bit more advanced again, but if you want to kind of have different kinds of dialogue, you can add values to the game and maybe use them in an if statement. What's an if statement? Well, I'm glad you asked people who are looking at this. If something do this, uh, do this. So if a certain condition is met, it does this. If not, it simply skips it. Did you do it? You can answer that yourself. But uh, we, we need to have something to actually ask, is this right, for example? So we can make a value, and again, we make values with a dollar sign. And I typically put them at the top just so I have a, a better overview of what kind of values I have. We can call it value one, and it's equal to false. Now, if I put it to equal to false, it's going to become a Boolean. In case you don't know what Booleans are, it's basically either a Boolean is true or it's false. So value one can either be true or false. Two outcomes, for example, uh, you can say, uh, put a Boolean on, Boolean on if you are a human. Are you a human? Yeah, I hope you are. So it's probably true. In this case, we're going to put value one to false. Now, if value one equals false, then we do this. Now, the very observative viewer might see that here I put one equal mark, and down here I put two. Why do I do that? It's because this is a check and this is a setter. Setters and checkers are two different things. A setter sets the value to false. A checker checks if it's false. So this is kind of like a Boolean in itself. If value is equal to false, it is, then it's true. So we do this. If it's not equal to false, then it's false. So we don't do it. So we don't do this. This is, uh, yeah, if you don't know what Booleans are, what uh, kinds of data types there are, it, it, it might become a bit uh, hard to really understand what on earth is going on here. Uh, you can also have, um, there, there are other types of values. We can have string one. A string is basically an, an amount of text. Uh, this is a text string. And you can also have values with numbers. So uh, number one, we are number one, it's two. So uh, these are three basic things you're going to be working with. Uh, Booleans, just going to put this as Boolean, strings and numbers. You're probably not going to use these two a lot. You're going to use this a lot, uh, but yeah. This is how you do if statements. Now this becomes useful if, for example, you chose uh, to eat the cheeseburger and later down someone uh, makes a reference to uh, all of these cheeseburger eaters and you ate the cheeseburger, so it's kind of an if statement. If you ate the cheeseburger, you're going to say something else than if you didn't. So that it kind of becomes very customizable that way. Uh, you can also and this is something where I'm going to have to look at other code because I can't remember this. You can add all kinds of values. You can add a new character. You can add uh, images. You can define a speaker. This one is very interesting. So this is still some kind of value in a sense. Uh, it's basically a speaker like John and Greg. This character does not exist in the base game, so I just made a custom character, basically. Uh, we can call him uh, Florence. 
uh, and he should be called Flor. Oh, sorry, let's just uh, make this a bit more clear. Flow, Flow Rider. There we go. So we have a, a custom speaker that we can use down here. Flow Rider. Hello, my name is Florence. So if we save that, should we load over here? Now, because this is uh, defined all the way up top, we're going to have to start the scenario over again because it didn't reload all the stuff up here. It only reloaded the stuff down here. So we open again. At the moment we open it, it's going to execute all of this down here. Blah, 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 blah. No. Dialogue. Uh, something is very wrong. Oh, it's because... Uh, what's going on? Okay, I'm just going to have to check this out. Uh, because I am very bad at remembering things. If... Wait, let's just check out the dollar sign. If carry light is equal true. Hmm, now that's, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Because I haven't put it into the label. That's why. But this up here apparently doesn't execute after all, so I'm a very good teacher. We're going to have to restart the scenario. And it's still, yeah, we're going to have to restart the program. Go back and start it up. As you might notice, Flow Rider, we put in him as a speaker, so it's not actually a character, it's just someone who can speak. And his name is displayed as Florence, even though his code name it's getting very spy tech over here. His code name is Flow Rider. Uh, this voicemail, we, really, we could just not have it, I believe. But it's if you have uh, in here, there's something called voice volume. I never use it. It's just for the people who do. And then the color, that's the color which the name is displayed in. I believe this is uh, some kind of uh, turquoise. Yeah, the, the if statement is uh, gone through because going through because the boolean is equal to false. So that's right. It's it is false because we set it to false up here, and it does this. And then it asks, "Did you do it?" Oh, we did. Yeah, there you go, Florence. Now, if we remove this, obviously it's not going to work. Oh, I'm just going to have to reload the game. La, 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 la. And we're going to have to reload the entire scenario. Now it's going to go completely bananas. Ah, there you go. There's no say a flow rider. That's because he's gone. So that's a value. It kind of persists throughout the entire uh, script. So if you put this boolean equal false, it's going to be false throughout your entire scenario. And you can obviously change it. Uh, so we can put a boolean one is true now and which means basically this becomes true so that's not true anymore since this is true and it should be false but it's not false so it's not going to execute this you can figure this out by yourself if you just try it out a bit i think i've already tracked this on for way too long so i'm just going to end the video here so uh, yeah, see you in the next one.